क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई क्रीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the dipeptides that are been obtained from the glycine and alanine so now in this topic i'm going to talk about the classification of proteins on basis of the molecular shapes so friends talking about the classification of proteins on the basis of molecular shape basically proteins are divided into two types that is based on their molecular shape that is the first one is that is fibrous protein and globular protein so what is the difference between this two let me talk about this one also so talking about fibrous proteins in this case we understood that is how a peptide linkage has been formed or how a peptide is been formed suppose if there are multiple peptides and if all the peptides are arranged side by side parallelly so in that case like a fiber so in that case that proteins are called to be fibrous proteins for example if you talk about insulin that are been present in nail hair and also in wood suppose if we talk about the tendons so in this case this proteins are insoluble in water as well as they have more strength compared to that of the other types of proteins and that's the reason that because of the hydrogen bonding between the two layer between the two layers of the peptides so that makes this peptides or this kind of proteins to be more stronger and that is nothing but fibrous protein so talking about the next one that is globular protein so in this case the peptides gets folded up in such a way that is there is a formation of an intramolecular hydrogen bonding and we understand that it is intramolecular hydrogen bonding is weaker compared to that of the inter hydrogen bonding that takes place in the fibrous proteins so in that case this kind of proteins that is the globular proteins they are very much soluble in water as well as they have less strength compared to that of the fibrous proteins for example if you talk about that is hemoglobin so hemoglobin is a type of a globular protein and suppose if i talk about the other example that is insulin so insulin hemoglobin they are very much soluble in water and they have different functions depending upon their structure and that depends upon the sequence of the peptide linkage also so this is how basically we have discussed about the classification of proteins on basis of their molecular shape there are more information that is i'm going to talk about but in the future lecture but for now that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ekra channel thank you so much